From food to cosmetics, many products carry the organic label, but what exactly does that mean? Anna Walker is the CEO of Anasova Luxury Organics, and when she dropped by our studio, she offered us a little insight and showed us some of the products that are out there on the market. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Pat. Thank you for coming in. Well, it's great to be here. Thank you. Well, listen, I want to start off asking you a very basic question I think a lot of people don't understand, and that's the difference between something that's organic and something that's natural. I'm assuming it's pesticides, the use of pesticides, because natural foods can still, um, products can still involve pesticides, right? Actually, natural has no legal description. Mm. And the most important thing to know about organics, if you're buying them today, is to buy certified organics, mm -hmm. because there's at least hundreds in the United States and thousands internationally of organizations that certify organics but some are very good and of course some are not very good mm -hmm. so we want to choose only the products that have the best and highest standards for organics and natural can still be a product as you said that uses pesticides or highly toxic processing well your boutique here in New York Anasuva yes. and you obviously there's a big market for organic products um, your boutique have you seen quite a demand especially for luxury yeah. organics now which is, is very important because people want a quality product and that's one of the reasons why they bought buy organic they want something that's pure mm -hmm. and better taken care of better processing and so of course now of course they want a much better quality product both in what they eat and what they put on their bodies and what they surround themselves with. Of course, and environmentally friendly is yes. what we're yeah. looking for. Well, why don't you take us through some of the products that you brought here today, some of your own line and uh, some, of course, other, other products. Well, we chose seven products. It's very important to choose sort of the fun ones that would be the great ones. If you're going to transit to organic, this is a great place to start. Mm. So milk is really great, mm. and I'm a huge milk fan. Mm -hmm. But a lot of pediatricians nationwide are recommending that children drink organic milk because of the growth hormones, because sure. of the pesticides in the food, and a lot of other ingredients and a lot of the ways that milk is processed. And then we go to coffee, which is our next favorite drink. And um, <laughs> if you're really a great coffee connoisseur, then what you really want to drink is organic coffee mm -hmm. for two reasons. Uh, number one is it's a great quality product and it actually tastes different mm. and it tastes pure, it tastes fresher, it doesn't have the metallic taste that a lot of the chemicals used in the processing mm -hmm. uh, give you. The second reason is it provides a lot of important ecosystem support. Mm. Um, shade grown. Is it grown in this country, Lord? Well, no, not much coffee. Not is grown much, in yeah, not much. No. But where would you, where would it grow? Brazil, where? where? All over the world, mm -hmm. mostly Latin America. Mm -hmm. But what's really important is that you want to support a diversified ecosystem, mm -hmm. and you want a little bit of the rainforest cover. You want maybe the fig trees, mm -hmm. a lot of the plants and birds that are necessary to keep. Um, a grounded and, and well-supported rainforest are destroyed by monoculture when these large coffee farms come in and just, just destroy and just plant only coffee plants or also only chocolate plants. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Uh, the chocolate is also a, yeah. a product that is uh, close, deliciously organic. Right, my dad, I did. Heart. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> so um, that's the same thing with chocolate. It's very important that chocolate be grown in a responsible ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can grow chocolate or cocoa in a rainforest, and you can support birds. Speaking of animals, uh, ah. organic pet food yes. and toys even. Yeah, which is great. It's very important. Well, this is a great brand, and this is what I use with my dog. And it's very important because this has organic chicken, mm -hmm. so the chicken's not fed any pesticides mm -hmm. in the food and or antibiotics. And it then moves forward to um, the barley and the grains and the rice mm -hmm. are all organic also. Anna, the, the, this will surprise me. The, the use of pesticides in, uh, in, in cotton, what you said, uh, that was Huge. a surprising fact that you, 25%? 25% of the pesticides? world's pesticides are used on one crop, which wow. is cotton. So if wow. you really want to make a difference, Use organic cotton. Organic sheets and mm -hmm. towels. And, you towels. Also and, and these are very luxurious. Okay. These are very soft yes, and satin. Yes, they are. Going to our skin. <laughs> this is a great product. This is organic body products, which is very important also. I don't you want to try some of this? Sure. Yeah, it's great stuff. Oh, oh it, it feels smells good. great. Mm -hmm. And it uses all organic essential oils, which are wonderful. And this is purification. Mm, beautiful. It's wonderful. So if you're going to rub lotion into your body, this would be the one. Well, the average American woman will have 30 pounds of... <clears throat> products from body lotion by the time they're age 60 that they will have absorbed. Yeah, so it's so it's very do it, do it organically. Exactly, exactly. Anna Walker, thank you so much for joining us this morning, bringing us these wonderful products. And again, the company is Anna Suva here in New York and online too, of course. We'll give that information for our okay. website. Thank have you, Pat. Thank you. Thank you so much.